let's start with the ignition relay. So the ignition relay is this socket here. So what we have is we have a fuse power supply from a 15 amp fuse feeding pin 30 here. We also have another power supply to pin 86, which comes from the key switch and the helm station and will go to the key on the I terminal. So turn the key on, power comes down from the helm and it energizes a pull-in coil in the relay. It says a constant ground, a block ground over here. And that will then make continuity. The relay will close, the switch will close, and it will have continuity between pin 30 and pin 87. The output of this relay feeds all of the injectors, okay, so through the connector there. It also feeds into ignition coil which ultimately feeds the ignition module and interesting in the diagram it switches from pink to purple here Volvo used pink and white coming out of the ignition relay and then they follow the the uh, marine code the US code for ignition which was purple and purple normally would go for a carbureted engine right to the coil in this case it goes through a relay that power also then travels on down and it also feeds the ECM and that is the wake up. So that's how we awaken the ECM, kind of like pushing the power button on a computer in the morning, All right? So that's really the wires and the connections for the ignition relay. Let's look at the fuel pump relay. Now the fuel pump relay is a little different because it has power on two terminals, pin 30 and pin 86. Pin 30 is the large current that's gonna Go to the fuel pumps when the switch closes. Pin 86 to pin 85 is the pulling coil again. So since I have power from a fuse on pin 86, I must have a switch ground here on pin 85. And that does go to ECM pin J1 23. And that's for this particular engine only. Don't expect this to be the same on any other engine. Uh, they change pin locations in ECM as ECM's changed. Um, engines are updated, so you really need the wiring diagram. 